Yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Clouds here, and I'm in the Golden Hook premiere right now, that photo you just dropped, um, I just had to stream to record this, this is a live reaction, I've not seen anything yet, um, for those of you that wanted me to do it on the live stream, my bad, I just, you know, I gotta get the video out, you know what I'm saying, but uh, yeah, let's get right into it guys, hopefully y'all enjoy this, and uh, yeah, we're gonna be talking about it, see, see how good it's potentially gonna be, hopefully it's decent. Alright, so we're in the premiere right now. I'm just gonna turn down the sounds and make sure it's like not like copyright or something like that. Uh, so first off, the first two moves. Hook, impale, slash dehydrate. Two, two moves? Activate poison? I don't really understand that. But I see dehydrate and it makes sense now. So this is why they didn't add dehydrate to Suna. Um, a lot of people who I was talking to in DMs, like like Shinra and some other people I was talking to about Suna, you might have known that I said I was disappointed that uh, Suna did not have dehydrate move, which, if in case you guys haven't watched the anime, it's a dehydration move where it's like crocodile basically dehydrates your body to the point where you're like, you've got no water. And it's OP because like you can kill someone easily that way in the anime. And I was kind of disappointed that they didn't have this for Suna, um, the fruit Suna. But it seems like this is why they did it. And hopefully I'm assuming that the dehydrate is something to where it only does dehydrate if you have Suna or it does hook impale if you don't have Suna. Something like that. Because I've noticed for most weapons, they buff it if it, it like if you have the fruit according to that weapon. But uh, yeah, my bad for dragging that on. I just want to I just wanted to talk about that real quick. But this running animation with it is kind of dope, but the range is kind of low. You know what I'm saying? Like this is like this is like bells. Ooh, hey yo, that's kind of hey yo. That's that's just like Trident Impale, bro. I like I like how they did that. I like how they did that. A little punch afterwards. So this is gonna be like another Trident Impale, um, which is nice. We're gonna have basically another Trident, Trident 2.0, except way less range. Okay, okay. Oh hey yo hey, yo hey, yo. Hey, hey. The damage on that. The dehydration. Let's see the range on that too. How do you how do you activate it to the second one though? That's what I'm confused about. Like how do you make it to where it does dehydrate versus impale? I don't, I don't get it. I'm not really too sure on that, but I mean look look pretty nice. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, hey yo, they activate poison. I'm pretty sure it just is it like a AOE poison? That's kind of nice. I ain't gonna lie. This is like the most unique weapon we've had. Okay, so it's either that or hold on. Let me see something real quick. I'm kind of I'm a little confused on this. So he presses activate poison and it like imbues the weapon in poison. So when he hits him, it does damage over time. That's nice. That's nice. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Not the range on that. The range on that hook, bro. Okay, so I can see. I'm pretty sure that Hanime right now has Suna because I can kind of see the Logia dodges. Maybe I'm tripping, but I, I think he has Suna. So I think when you have Suna, it automatically does the dehydrate. But if you don't have Suna, it just does the impale, which makes sense. Yeah, that's that's what it's looking like. So I was right at the beginning to assume that. Uh, let me just give you my thoughts real quick. So this this looks honestly really nice. Apart from the fact that it has no range, that's really going to affect you in PvP. The fact that there's literally no range on this. Um, it's going to be a little difficult. However, the activate poison looks decent. It's another way to get in and get some damage over time. Kind of similar to burn damage. However, it looks like it is. It's honestly pretty nice. The poison damage looked pretty nice. I don't know if they have like boosted stats or something or if this gets increased by sword damage. Well, they're only doing 11 per M1, so how much damage it dealt was pretty decent like it's, it's three tick three tick in there but if you're constantly having poison on it's not bad so i mean i mean honestly it's not bad bro it's not bad like let's see how much damage full use dealing per m1 so we can get a feel for how much stats he has in there and that and that hey that dehydration did quite a bit of damage i ain't gonna lie Foyu's hardly getting any M1s in here. 47 for M1. Okay, yeah. So Foyu has boosted stats. Hanime does not have boosted stats. 
But man, this hook, it looks all right. It looks all right. I don't think it's going to be like one of the best weapons in the game just because of the lack of range. I mean, you can't deny in PvP, you, you cannot deny that in PvP, lack of range is, is, is a huge, huge factor to whether something's going to be good or not. However, um, this this range is more comparable to something like Talons, where it has like that little bit of extra extended hitbox, or Bells, where it has a little bit of extra extended hitbox. But that range is you, you're going to see it really come into play for whether this is going to be good or not. Like there were there even in this video, there were some points where Foyu was like right on top of Hanum and M1, but it just wouldn't hit because of the range. And I feel like because of that it's not going to be the greatest in pvp and maybe i'm just jumping the gun right here but most short weapons in general are going to be hard for pvp but it looks like it's honestly pretty decent it's a unique weapon it looks fun obviously i'm going to get this weapon and mess around with it in pvp no doubt about that guaranteed you know what i'm saying but it's like i don't know if this would be the weapon the go-to weapon i'm going to use for like competitive um pvp whereas like something like crack and blade you guys see my reaction to that crack and blade looks like it's going to be really solid. It's going to be really solid for PvP, you know what I'm saying? But uh, he gave himself Suna now. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, oh, that's the logo for Suna. Y'all see that? Right at the number nine. That's the logo for Suna. So he activated the poison thing. And then now that he has Suna, that's the effect it does. So, yeah, like, I was right. I was right. I mean, we all knew that by now. But when you have Suna, it automatically makes it to where it dehydrates rather than hook and pale. But, I mean, this is all right. This is all right. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, let me just skip around and see if there's anything I'm missing so far. I'm glad he showed us it with Suna. Just so we can, get, like, confirm that, it, like, you know, that's the uh, the effect it does per the fruit. So, let's see if I'm missing anything. He might showcase, like, hockey or something. He does have hockey on right now. Okay. I mean, I mean, this, it looks all right. It looks all right. Uh, it's, not a, it's, not a bad, it's not a bad weapon. I think it'll be like a mid tier, mid low high tier. It's not gonna be like top tier in my opinion. But this is this is just a hot take, you know, just a hot take, my personal opinion. I think it, I think it could be good with some builds. It's nice that you get the impale, even if you don't have the fruit, but you get dehydrate if you do have the fruit. Dehydrate looks solid, good range to it, really good damage, and I think it does some damage over time. Oh, uh, maybe it doesn't. Yeah, no, it doesn't do damage for time, but it does a decent amount of damage within that. Like, it, like the dehydrate does have quite a bit of damage, so it makes it worth it to have it if you have the fruit, and sort of worth it if you don't have the fruit, because impale is still decent. Anyways, uh, let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments below. Overall, I'm not like too amazed by it. It looks all right. That's my personal opinion. But uh, yeah, you know, this has been a live reaction. I'm really excited for update four. Hopefully it releases sometime within this week or next week. I feel like they should release it next week. But anyways, it's been with clouds. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.